Europe. It's been 45 days now. I'm um, a crush haven't seen you. At crush mention, crush while lying on bed thinking about you. It's been 45 days I haven't seen Miss Wine and I really want to see if she is well or not. He took out his phone and started watching random things and um, after some time. Now it doesn't work. I should do something else so that I can engage my mind and maybe then I will not think about Miss Wine. He then started to work for his company and more. But no matter what he do, he couldn't able to take you out of his mind. He became upset. One day, Kizal was going back after completing her work. Chris saw her and he went to him. Chris, hey Gizel, I want to ask you about Miss Wine. Is she well? Yes, she is well, Mr. Chris. Gizel answered. Chris, how oh, that's good. Thanks for information. You can go now. Gizel nodded and started going from there. But suddenly, Chris stopped her again and asked, Gizel, if you don't mind, can I come to meet Miss Wine? Because I'm quite worried about her health, as also she is going to have a baby now, too. Gizel agreed, and Chris ran to meet you with Gizel after some time. One, you were sitting on your couch, and suddenly Gizel opened the door, and you saw your boss with Gizel, so you ran to welcome him. Mr. Chris, your hair, come in, you said to him. He runs in silent, gives you flower pocket, and some things he brought for you at the same time. Chris, how are you, Miss Wine? He asked you. He was so happy inside and was feeling good after he saw you after many days. You can clearly see how happy he was after seeing you. Why? I'm pretty good. You answered him with a smile on your face. Chris, actually since you have taken leave, I didn't meet you and I was quite worried about you. That's why I came to meet you. One. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for that. You answer. I guess we are friends, so you can call me or meet me whenever you want. He agreed, and your conversation goes on. It's after sunshine. Rich. Okay, I should go now. Take care of yourself. I will come again to meet you. And uh, let me know if you need my help. You know that. And he left. Gisel. He sit beside you and said, One, I think Mr. Chris really likes you a lot. That's why he looks so upset in company too. And now, when he saw you, he suddenly became so happy. One, I know he likes me, but for me, he's just a friend. After all, he's a really good person. Author Beauty Chris was a good friend for you, not more than a friend, but for him, you mean a lot to him. So he started taking care of you as a friend, as also you needed some care as you're pregnant. And finally, after two months, your delivery day finally came. Chris came to hospital to take care of you before us after the delivery. You were quite afraid so Gisela and Chris support you and you finally became some confident. Doctor, she came to you and checked you and said she's ready for delivery now. So I request the father to sign the paper so that delivery can be started. Why? You said to doctor, actually the father of this child is not here doctor. After hearing, she denied to do delivery without further signature. Chris. He said to doctor in anger, what a stupidity is it? He want to deliver if you don't get the sign of father and what if she started to feel more pain now? He asked doctor but still she refused to do delivery and said it's a policy so we can't help. He become worried and you also can call JK. Yes sir, what we will do now? Crush. Without wasting more time, he said to doctor, give me the paper, I will sign it. Why? You become quite sure, but Mr. Chris, are you sure you wanna sign it? I think this time your delivery is important and if my signature help then I will sign it. He signed on papers and he went for delivery and after some hours he gave a birth to a beautiful son and doctor went to inform his son and Chris and they came to see your son. Gisal, she whispered in your ear, why your son is so cute and he looks like their kid. Chris, he gently touched baby's hands and said, he's so cute Miss Lauren. Why, he smiled as I reply and said, thank you Mr. Rich, because of you I have my son in my arms. That's no worry, he said to you. Other baby, you were so happy to have a son as you looked like a JK mini person, but you were also upset inside because JK wasn't with you in your most beautiful moment. On the other hand, disasters in JK's life started to begin because Sophie found another man and now he wants to enjoy with him. So he started cheating on JK behind his back. 
Jake has started to know that there's something wrong and Sophie is feeding on him because she started pretending to JK that she loves him and he talks to another guy secretly and they started to argue with each other etc. JK in his room while opening the drawer for taking some documents of his family suddenly his eyes went on his and were wearing rings. He took out the ring and sat on his back holding a ring in his fingers. His eyes got softened for some time, admiring the ring carefully, and he closed his eyes. And the beautiful moments of you and his flash in his mind. He opened his eyes for some quick moments. He reminds you, and then he puts the ring back to its place. After some days, when he started to believe that Sophie is cheating, so he planned to catch her red-handed. After some days, JK. Sophie was sitting on couch, scrolling her phone. So JK went and sat beside her. Sophia will come late tonight because I have meeting at Gotham, so take care, okay? Sophie nodded and gave a fake smile. After saying JK ran to his company, but he was just pretending that he would come late. After knowing that JK will come late, Sophie immediately called her new boyfriend for spending night. His boyfriend came and Sophie started enjoying with him. And after some time, as JK planned it, he secretly planned inside the mission and went to Sophie's room. JK, he silently and slightly opened the door and caught Sophie and her new boyfriend red handed together. He screamed, what the is going on here? Sophie, he becomes completely shocked and frightened there. Jago, what are you doing here? You said you were coming late tonight. JK, hope, so now I need permission to come at my mission only, huh? Then he ran to her boyfriend and grabbed her shirt collar tightly. So you both cheat on me, huh? How dare you to do this? He started punching him hard and he started beating him so badly that it started coming out from his mouth. Sophie, she went to defend her new boyfriend while stopping JK. Stop Jungle, leave him, please. JK, he was full of anger. I will this here on, you just see. I won't leave him, neither you. Understand, so move as I don't interrupt. He said to Sophie. Sophie was kept on defending him from JK. After him so badly, he leaves him and cautioned to Sophie. He went and grabbed her arms tightly. So I was right. You are fooling me, huh? You thought you will cheat on me without getting caught? Sophie, she answered. So what if I cheat on you, huh? Didn't you cheat on your wife? You remember, right? JK. Yes, I cheated on my ex-wife wife. wife. Cause I'm stupid and it's all because of you while pointing finger on her. I was fooled that I liked you and you know what you want because you trapped me and my blessed mind from a stone like you are worth for damage like one. Sophie sees me. See, what will you get now? Huh? I already have to spoil your life into several pieces, understand? JK in anger, he, her. My life has to spread because of me, not because of you. So keep the thought out of your mind that you didn't do. He grabbed her arm harshly and her and her boyfriend and kicked them out of the mansion and said get away and don't show me cross space again. After POP, Sophie left the mansion with her boyfriend. JK, he sat on back with high wood grating. Why? Why are she on one? I'm such a stupid. He stand up and punched the wall hardly. I broke my two ears of marriage just for 10 months of relationship. How cool I am. His eyes became wet and he started tearing me. His heart broke out into thousands of pieces. He was regretting every single thing he'd done to you. But as you know, regretting alone doesn't mean anything. I have to find wine and have to apologize to her even though I know I didn't deserve her forgiveness but now I can forgive myself ever. After POB, after that day JK started to search one. He first went to the house which he gives you to live after divorce but he couldn't find you so he started finding more ways to search you. Even his family left him because he cheated on you and his only last wish was to get your forgiveness. On the other hand, after two months your son is now two months old and you are also getting regular. Chris and Gizel took a lot of care of you and your son. The bond between you and Chris is not getting a new shape. Your newborn son is also getting habitual of Chris as he loves to play with him 
everything was okay but inside you were quite concerned about your son's future without a father as whenever you were with Giselle and Dave you feel like you have your own after some days Giselle and Chris found something where they didn't tell you Chris he went and sat beside of you looking at your son sleeping he said to you Miss Vine can let's go for a walk in park you also feel good smart Why? Uh, Mr. Chris right now my son is sleeping how can we go there Chris he stood up and went to your son and gently picked him up and carry him and ask you in low and cute voice can we go now he's still in sleep why you smile and agree because he asks you in cute voice after some time in bar while walking you were talking happily to each other then you saw him petting your son's back slowly and softly and your son's places had on Chris just which is giving you full father and son voice. He's slowly getting to know how husband material he is and how much he loves both of you. After a while, Chris, he asks you quite nervously, Miss Wyan, don't you think we look good together? 1. You found his cooking quite weird, but you know it and said, yes, we both are looking good. Chris, no, you didn't got it right. I'm talking about us, you and me and your son. One, he got confused and didn't say anything. Chris, while looking towards you, he said, Actually, Miss Wine, I remember when the last time on New Year party when I said you, I love you, your reaction was same as now. You didn't say anything then, nor you said anything now. One, no, it's not like that. I will just, before you could complete your words, he said to me, that's okay, whatever the reason is, that's totally okay. Then he asked you, can you hold the baby for some minutes? You agreed and took the baby into your arms. While smiling, he takes out a small box from his pocket and said to you in a quite confident way, I knew I have once got rejected by you and maybe, but I'm not sure I will pass this time. But I will try my best. He opened the box and your eyes got widened up because you saw a beautiful diamond print in the box. From a long time, I wanted to tell you. But I also wanted that before I express my inner feelings to you, first you become comfortable with me. And when you have a started feeling comfortable with me, I would like to ask you, can you marry me? I swear I will be a good husband for you forever and I will never leave you or cheat on you and I will forever love your son as my own son I promise for you I will try every possible way to keep you happy always why you got shocked because that was unexpected for you you started thinking that Krish is a good person and your son also need a responsible and caretaking father and Krish is a perfect match for it because he lost you both a lot and he waited a lot for you after some times of thinking reality hits you suddenly and you answer i will be happy to be a wife of such a good person so i accept krish as he heard it he became so happy and sad thank you so much miss wine i couldn't believe you really agree he took out the ring from box and he wore the ring back after some time krish Okay, so let's go eat something. I already have arranged it. He took the baby back to his arms. Wine, oh, so that was your and Giselle brand, right? He noted. And you was happy at that moment because after a long time you got someone who cares for you and you both happily went for one. Alter POP Time passes and it's been almost 10 to 11 months since Jackie is searching for you. As now you live in Kush Mansion because he asks you to live in his mansion so you will get to know him more better before your marriage. One day at restaurant. JK, he went to a restaurant for dinner in which Chris also went. While roaming, JK suddenly noticed Chris sitting and Chris suddenly saw JK, suddenly remembered. Chris, you're here, he said to him. Chris. Got surprised. Oh, JK, it's you, my friend. He ran 
to JK and they both hug each other. Come sit here. They went and sat on coach. How are you JK? JK. While smiling he answered, I'm okay but I couldn't believe we are meeting after 3 to 4 years. Crash. Yes, our meeting is really unexpected. I didn't even have your number. That's why after leaving city, I couldn't able to call you. Take it. It's okay. I will give you my number. What about how's your life going? He asked. Krish, everything is going good. Well, you know, I'm going to marry soon. He became happy after hearing an ax. Oh, congratulations, bro. Who's that lucky girl? He asked. Actually, she is already a married woman, but his husband divorced her. After all, she's really beautiful and kind-hearted person. JK. He finds it suspicious and asks him, What do you mean by that, Krish? Krish, she's having her second marriage because his husband divorced her. After all, she has his son, but that left her. After hearing that you have a son, he felt relieved because he thought it can be you because you didn't tell him about his son. Oh, so she must be very lucky to have a quick person like you. He said to him and their conversation goes on. And after some time, Krish invited Jake to his mansion for dinner tomorrow. As they are meeting after a long time, so they can enjoy some time together and JK agreed. After they went to their mansion, Krish, while playing with Junsu, your son's name given by you and Krish. That's why he called you. You came and sat in front of him. You know I met my very old friend today in restaurant after 3 to 4 years, so I invited him for dinner tomorrow. Why? While smiling, you said, that's good. We both can enjoy some time together. Krish, he noted. Why? Mr. Crush, call me Wanali. You don't have to add Miss. Crush, as the best one, call me Crush only then. Only next day evening, JK went to Crush Mansion and Crush welcomed him. As they started to talk, but you were quite busy, so you were trying to do your work best. Crush, while smiling, so JK, thanks for coming here. As my would be wife is about to come at any time, till have some coffee. JK, he noted. JK, while sipping coffee, he heard your footstep coming from behind. Krish, here she comes, my son to be wife, with our son Junsu, he said while looking towards you. Why? Sorry for getting late, I was quite busy, he said while coming. But you didn't know, something really unexpected is going to happen soon. JK, he looked back and his gaze went on you. He got full shock, his smile dropped in a second and his heart beat started racing fast. He immediately stood up and he couldn't able to spell a single word from his mouth. Why? Your eyes widened up and your legs got frozen on the spot as you looked that the person who is in front of you is not someone else but your ex-husband JK who left you for another girl. You began to stand to speak anything as you both were just looking at each other as if this is your first meet without talking. Krish, he came to you and took Junsu from you to his arms and hold your hands and took you with him in front of JK. JK became jealous, looking Krish holding your hands but he couldn't do anything. So JK meet her. She is my soon to be wife and he's our son Junsu. JK, his heart broke after listening that you and to you. Why you are going to marry Krish? Krish, yes, and he's our son. He answered. Why? JK, what are you doing here? He asked him. Krish, he becomes confused and asks, do you both know each other? Why? Your eyes just started getting cheered up. While looking at JK, you said to Krish, yes, we know each other. He's my ex-husband who divorced me. For another girl and the father of our son, Junzio. JK almost felt like a heart attack when he heard that Junzio is his own son. JK, he came quite closer to you while being fully shocked and looked at Junzio. Why? He is willing to son. You know the black right. He couldn't control your emotions and tears, so you ran from there to your room and locked it. JK went behind you while requesting you to stay and listen to him. JK, he started knocking the door while apologizing. One, please open the door and listen to me, please. I want to apologize to you, please. I'm begging you. Please open the door. I have been searching for you from so long. I really want to apologize to you. I realize my fault. Please listen to me once. Chris was 
also feel really sincere and you got to know everything just by seeing your own actions. One, gently get out of here. I don't want you to listen to you. And once you're apologized, I'm pleased. Don't feel me for a Leave me alone. After crying a lot, nothing works out. You didn't give up and first took jungle with me and asked to take care of why did you divorce her? JK told him everything from A to Z. And how can you left her and your son alone? JK trying to control his tears. I didn't even know that I have a son. She didn't told me about her son Junsu. Fish, you don't even know how much he suffered alone just because of you. You can go now. She don't want to talk to me now. JK, while leaving, he couldn't control his tears more and break down in tears and sat in his car and broke from there and stopped the car some far away and started regretting while crying non-stop. How can this happen? Why I'm going to marry Krishna? No God, don't do this to me. Don't give me this punishment. I'm requesting you, please. I can't let her marry someone else. JK, and I didn't even know about your son. Why am I such an idiot? My wife and my son have been good through a lot of pain because of me. Who is responsible for all this? Please, I have to get them back. I have to apologize to her at any cost. I can't live without my boy and my son. I can't let this happen, please. Don't give me this punishment, wine. Please, I hope you understand me. To be continued in last part. The end. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please go like, share, subscribe to my channel, Signature. Handle Signature and you. And please guys, support me. I really work hard for this second part and I hope you will like the last part too and please comment your opinion I'd like to read that so bye for now see you in last part